Cape Judge President John Lopez rubbishing claims he tried to influence constitutional court judges in the former President Jacob Zuma's arms deal case in 2008. Lopez facing a judicial conduct tribunal looking into his fitness to hold office. Uh, from where I'm sitting, it looks like you were struggling and all. You were on a mission. I, I, I have no words to explain, but there was something pushing you at that time to make sure that you have contacts with these judges of the Constitutional Court just before this, the, the, the judgment could be issued out or could be delivered so that you put across whatever you wanted to put which was banning you. The answer is definitely no. There were so many other judges of the Constitutional Court that I met in that period of time. I have mentioned Justice Langer. I had mentioned Justices Dechang Mosinege on the phone. I had mentioned Justice uh, Squeia. I had mentioned Nobo. And I think the other judge that I met at that time, uh, Squeia, Nobo, Pius Langer, Madala. Those are judges that I met during that uh, time frame, during that time, in addition to Justices Ngabinde and uh, Justice Ngabinde and uh, Jafta. And there is no suggestion that I try to do anything to those judges. Evidence leader advocate Ivy Tenga was frustrated with Chlope accusing him of speculating whenever it suited him. In conclusion, Judge President, I just want to say to you, you want to speculate and give this forum your speculation where it suits you. And when it doesn't, you refrain and you want to step back and say, I can't speculate. Ma'am, with respect, I do not agree with that proposition. I've answered your questions honestly. I was not privy to the meeting of the 28th, but it is a fact that after the 28th of May, a different meaning, which is totally wrong, was assigned to the expression says Tembelegin. It is a fact. That is the evidence of the professor. And there is nothing to gainsay that.